Hey guys, it is the Turtle Girl. Today we are talking about food because food is great and food, turtles, turtles, blah, blah, blah. food likes turtles, food does like turtles, but turtles love food. And so today we're talking about how to keep them healthy by feeding them the proper amount. So how much should you feed your turtle and when to feed your turtle and how often you're supposed to be feeding them the amount that they're supposed to be eating. So today we're joined by Hoku, my diamondback terrapin. Um, he's just gonna be back there begging, chilling. Anyways, let's start with how much you should be feeding your turtles. So this is a, not highly debated, but there are just a lot of different methods to find out the quantity of food you should be feeding your turtle. So some of the most common ones that I at least see on like the directions of food, like feeding instructions, I see a lot of different ways people say you should do it. So some of the most common ways are either you feed your turtle however much it can eat in 15 minutes, or you give them a set amount so you say like a tablespoon of pellets per day but these methods aren't actually great because they don't accommodate all types of turtles because all turtles are different all turtles are different sizes different ages and they have different needs for nutrition and so you're not going to be feeding a hatchling painted turtle the same thing you would be feeding a common snapping turtle that's an adult. So you have to feed them different amounts and the best way I have found to figure out how much to feed your turtle is the method where you feed your turtle as much as would fill his head if hollow. Now I know that might sound confusing but just bear with me I will explain this to you right now. So imagine this little container I have here is your turtle's head. Now I know that sounds kind of weird but just bear with me. So this is not including the neck, but just the size of your turtle's head. This is about, it's about one, a one and a half inch cylinder, and so that's just for your reference. Um, but imagine that your turtle's head is about this size and it's hollow, so it's like a big cup. And you would fill that imaginary cup with however many pellets could fill it up to the top. And so we're going to do that right now, and I'll show you how many pellets that is. So now our little cup here is full of pellets, you can see it. And so this is essentially how much you would be feeding your turtle at each feeding. Now, that may have looked like a lot of pellets, and it actually kind of was. I would say that was maybe 40 or 50 pellets if I was to guesstimate. But if you look at the size of this specific container, this is like, a, I would want to say 20 to 25 milli milliliter, a 25, oops, one of those 25 milliliter medicine cups that you drink that disgusting strawberry cough medicine out of. Um, but I've washed it and cleaned it, don't worry. But I would say this is about the size of a head of a female red-eared slider, so probably one of the bigger turtles that you would be able to have. And I would guesstimate this is about the same size as her head. But if you had a smaller turtle, what do you do? Well, you just imagine it. This was purely just for reference so that you guys can actually see visually what I'm talking about because it's kind of a weird concept to explain. But just imagine, again, we have Hoku here. You see how big his head is? His head, I would guesstimate, it's a nice little cylinder that's about this big. And I can guesstimate, oh, maybe about 10 pellets of this size would fit in that head as well as a couple different other foods that I'm going to feed him for that feeding. And so that is a good way to determine amount because basically it accommodates for the different sizes of turtles. So if your turtle is huge, you'll feed him as much as he needs because that's the size of his head. And then if you have a small hatchling turtle, you only feed him a little bit because their heads are really small. Now you might be wondering, that's a lot of food if I'm feeding my big turtle this much pellets every single day. Won't my water get dirty? Won't my turtle not actually eat it all? Well, that's where how often you should be feeding comes into play. Because when a turtle is younger, they need to be fed the most because they are using this food as energy to grow and also just have energy to move around and perform the basic functions of life. So for baby turtles, you want to feed them the amount that would fill their head as hollow every single day. So every day you will feed them the same amount as would fill their head if hollow. Now. For juveniles, it's kind of difficult to determine when a turtle actually goes from baby to juvenile because it, it depends not only on actual age, but also on size because they grow at different rates. But usually I will say a baby turtle is a turtle from maybe, I want to say five to eight months, I would consider still a baby turtle. And then if they have reached, depending on the species, about three to four inches is usually when they can start to be considered juvenile because their growth really starts slowing down a lot. So when you see that your turtle really isn't growing as often, then you can start feeding them less often and considering them juveniles. These turtles now don't need as much food because they're not growing and their growth is slowing down, but they still need to be fed pretty often. So you feed juvenile turtles every other day. And if I had a calendar here, 
calendar. Actually, I can get you a calendar. Let's see it right now. So for juvenile turtles, you need to feed them every other day. And so this means you'll feed on Monday, skip a day, feed on Wednesday, skip a day, feed on Friday, skip a day, feed on Sunday, skip a day, and so on and so forth. And so that is how often you'll be feeding a juvenile. And then for adults, right now, I want you to go grab a calendar so that you can actually see how this works. Now, the reason I say you need to get a calendar is because adults only eat every two to three days. I feed Nemo, who is my 11-year-old turtle, I feed him every two days. So I skip two days and then I feed him again. So I guess it's kind of every three days. It kind of depends on how you look at it and count your days. But you need a calendar because over the course of three days, it's really easy to forget when you fed your turtle last. Did I feed it yesterday? Did I feed it four days ago. So you want to be able to keep track of it on something and either have the date scheduled or be writing down when you last fed your turtle. So here I have my lovely 2018 Fish Fam calendar, the lovely art by Priscilla MK, and then it was printed by Jadon Aquatics. I'll leave a link to this calendar if I can find it. I'm not sure if it's still available, but this is the calendar I use. And you can see here in the month of April, I have it all scheduled of when I feed my turtles. So I wrote at the bottom, so I don't forget, when I have one line that means I'm feeding Nemo, and when I have two lines that means I'm feeding Hoku. Now that means when there's three lines, I'm feeding both turtles. So you can see I have it marked out here. Because Hoku, I feel, is already a year and a half, he's kind of moving out of that juvenile stage and doesn't need as much feeding. So right now I'm feeding him you know, every one day, and then every two days, and then every one day. And so you can see, I mean, sorry, I know that sounds confusing, but basically, he always gets fed on Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So it's pretty easy. I know that if it's a Monday, Wednesday, or a Saturday, I need to be feeding my turtle. And, and that's reflected in the calendar because I put two dashes on m all the Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. So that means he's getting three feedings a week, which is almost every other day, but not quite. Um, but that's just because he's already kind of growing. And then for Nemo, it gets a little bit more complicated because I want to feed him two days and it's not um, always consistent with the days of the week. So you can see here, every two days, Monday, I'll skip two days, then I'll feed him on Thursday. Then I'll skip two days, then I'll feed him on Sunday. Then I'll skip two days, then I'll feed him on Wednesday. So as you can see, it's not actually consistent with the days of the week, but I just consistently feed him every two days because I mean the turtle probably doesn't really care about the days of the week he just wants to eat because I mean if you've ever had a turtle they're always begging they always want to eat they just like consistency and consistency is always good for an animal now the great thing about turtles is that they are extremely resilient and extremely hardy so there have been times where I had to go on a trip for a week and I looked around but no one was available to come over and check on my turtles at least even once a week so I have left my turtles for I think a whole week, a whole seven days without feeding them. And that includes Hoku, who I normally feed three times a week. And I left him for a week, and I did leave some snails in there for him to chomp on and also some live fish to try to catch if he really got hungry. But I came back after that week, and he was totally fine. So turtles in the wild, you have to understand, are opportunistic feeders. So that means they eat when they can, and when they can't find food, then they don't. So turtles can actually go for, I think, almost months without food. But this doesn't give you an excuse to not feed your turtle when you are at home, because then at that point it's just laziness, and it's not because you don't have a choice and you couldn't find anyone to watch your turtle while you're gone away. But I probably will talk about this in the future, but when you go on a vacation, if it's just a weekend trip, you don't have to worry about your turtles eating. Um, that's just my opinion. I've found that they're, they really don't care as long as you feed them as soon as you get back home. So those are my thoughts on how often to feed your turtle and how much. Definitely get yourself a calendar. It doesn't have to be a cool fish fam calendar, but it can be because it's got amazing art on it and cool pictures of fish. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it helped you. And again, if you have any questions and if you were confused, drop those in the comments below. I will try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. But do know that my patrons on Patreon, I have a community um, section there where if you guys ask questions, I always answer those first because sometimes it takes a little bit to answer to the questions in the comments. But anyways, there's the Patreon if you want to check that out. Um, and then also on Instagram, you can message me there. And also, we hit 2,000 followers on Instagram, so I'm doing a giveaway. I think I'm either giving away a shirt or a tote bag. But if you want to be a part of that, then definitely check out my Instagram. It's just at the turtle girl, and I think you just have to do a couple simple things in order to be entered into that. So if you want to check that out, there's that. And uh, I will see you guys next Friday. Have a turtly awesome day, and I'm going to go eat some mint ice cream now. Bye!